every now and again you work on a car that you think I'm probably never going to see one of those again. Um, Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, not a GTR. Um, I think I tagged it as a GTR in one of my Instagram posts, but um, it's a GT Black Series. Um, uh, 1700 of these were made, I think. I just looked it up. Um, so maybe not as rare as I think actually. We're getting a couple of the Aston Martin V12 Vantages, the new ones in. There's only 300 of those, so that'll be a rarer car. Um, but yeah, it's finished. It's um, been a bit of a mission. Thankfully, not quite as big a mission as it could have been um, because a lot of the car is covered in PPF. Um, Jules next door has done a, um, a sterling job on it. A very complicated car to do. Um, lots of um, flips and wings and vents and flaps and uh, shapes for the PPF to conform around but, um, but it's had the front end sills, um, the rear arch, uh, well sills up to the bit of the rear arch and then the little extensions done as well, the wing um, and then uh, the exposed paint was um, not in great condition shall we say again. Um, slight caveat that the customer asked me to uh, mention is that normally this dealership um, send their cars to a detailer, valetor place next door um, to give them a once over. He asked them not to do that in this instance so that's why it was maybe in worse condition than some of the other cars that he's had from them. Um, so that's fair enough. Um, the dealership is great if that dealership does send them to a, a, a detailer or a valetor, shows that they're a bit more um, interested in the standard of the cars that come out of their dealership not like the ix3 that was in the last video that you've hopefully seen that was horrendous and have now reached a settlement with the i don't know how much but they've contributed some or all of the bill for the customer um but uh yeah the, the and to be fair to that dealership the marks on this car as you could see uh, around the badge and, and behind the mercedes badge there's no way a dealership would have put those buffer trails in. That's come from the factory and then the factory's stuck the badge over it. So not the dealership's fault. And given the opportunity, I think they would have done an okay job of, of, of handing it over in, in a better condition. Um, but it's, it's looking spot on now, um, under 100 miles on the clock. Uh, so the customer, it's gonna stay with us in storage for a little bit and then the customer can enjoy it in its uh, perfect state. I'll show you around the car now. Um, we haven't taken the wheels off yet because the customer forgot to include the locking wheel key so it's going to come back in the room next week I think for the wheels to be taken off properly but we've coated the face, um, we've polished the doors, rear quarters, um, boot lid and rear bumper and then coated those in Crystal Serum Ultra. Um, all the PPF sections um, have been done with uh, two coats of uh, G-Technic Halo, uh, wheel faces with C5 and the barrels will be done later like I say. Actually, there was a couple of bits I wanted to show, um, seeing as I've got one of these cars in the room. Um, you might find it interesting or, or not. Uh, but first of all, the wheels, um, look how shapely and uh, curved in they are. Like a focus. Um, that's just gonna be a dirt trap in there. The way that the um, wheels are so shaped they kind of um, go right into the hub there just thought that was kind of interesting i hadn't seen one of these before up close and i don't remember the um the gtr or the gtr pro having it quite shaped like that like i say the wheels are going to come off later um, for the coatings to be done and the other thing this enormous rear wheel in the back pretty prominent All these bits move, so this is in like a the lowest downforce setting at the moment, and it can go up to there. And this flap is um, elect electrically, and I think it's hydraulically adjustable um, from inside the car. But if I open the boot, he says, trying to open the boot. Inside these struts that come out from the boot floor, which then perfectly line up with these supports on the uh, underside of the boot lid so that it presses all of the downforce down through those into the um, chassis I guess uh, so it's not basically putting all of that force just onto the um, carbon fibre boot lid which would probably not be strong enough to hold it all and it would just cave in I guess um, that's how I don't know I just thought that was interesting 
you might not, you might not find it interesting at all, but I did. Anyway, that's me done. I'll show you around the car. Mm -hmm.